Hello, my name is Marianne Fernandez and I work for European Digital Rights, ETRI. We are a Brussels-based organization that represents 30 31 uh, organizations around Europe and the world. We defend digital rights, that means your rights to privacy, data protection, net neutrality, um, your right to access information and any other um, rights linked to the internet. So as you know, we all have the right to keep personal information private and secure online. Right now, this is not the case because it's open to abuse by governments and by corporations through several mechanisms such as trade agreements. Today, we're here to discuss uh, the Trade and Services Agreement, TISA, and then the leaks um, published both by Greenpeace and uh, a few days ago by WikiLeaks show that our rights online and freedoms online are undermined. Petri has produced an in-depth analysis of the leaks. It has 16 pages and we can summarize our main findings in six points. First point, the leaks show that uh, there's an increase of corporate influence on policymakers by legitimizing and institutionalizing lobbying. Second point, governments influenced by big corporations want to relax the safeguards that the European Union has long fought for in the data protection legal framework. EU privacy and data protection standards are at risk in several provisions of the TISA um, text. Actually, in six out of nine of the documents we analyzed, these rights in, can be and are undermined. Third point, so even if there are some safeguards to protect the right to privacy and data protection in the TISA leaks, these are not enough because they are conditional to not undermining TISA obligations or not to be inconsistent with TISA obligations or not to constitute a trade barrier. This means that we would have to be balancing our fundamental right with a trade measure, which doesn't make a lot of sense because uh, data protection and privacy are fundamental rights in the European Union. But even if they were enough, so imagine if they were uh, sufficiently strong, we have national security exceptions in several texts in the TISA leak, such as in the core text or in other annexes such as the e-commerce annex, where these safeguards could be just forgotten if a TISA country has a national security uh, measure to actually adopt. Fourth point, when it comes to net neutrality, which is the principle that makes the internet what it is, meaning that all traffic in the internet is or is supposed to be treated equally, um, is both undermined and both protected in uh, the TISA leaks. What I mean is that there are positive and negative aspects in the TISA leaks that can protect and at the same time undermined net neutrality. One of the novelties of these leaks is that the European Union uh, should be um, congratulated for introducing very positive aspects. Of course, not other country has established any position with regards to what the European Union has put forward. However, there, uh, there is a risk on provisions to promote the practices called zero rating, which actually are a threat to our freedom to communicate and a threat to the principle of net neutrality. Point number five is that in the e-commerce annex leaked by Greenpeace Netherlands, there's a provision on unsolicited commercial electronic messages, such as spammy emails, that is not ambitious enough. And furthermore, it risks being in contradiction with the current e-privacy directive of the European Union. Sixth and final point is that TISA can limit the access and transfer of software source code. And why is this is bad? Because this contributes to uh, corporate greed and this is linked to things like patents. So today we've heard a lot of concerns not only from a digital rights perspective but also from other perspectives. What is very important to underline is that this process is not over. TISA is still being uh, negotiated 
So now it's the turn of policymakers and trade negotiators to actually hear the public, hear the experts that have uh, underlined several concerns and address them. Not only say, oh, this is just populism or protectionism. This is not the case. Now is the time to fix it. And finally, I would like to thank the whistleblowers that made this possible and also organizations like Greenpeace and uh, Wikileaks that took the courage to actually release these documents to the public. Without them, we would not be able to have this press conference today and the public would not be able to assess all of the texts that are being uh, under discussions at the moment. I hope all is clear. But if you have any doubts, uh, you can contact me at mariant.fernandez-perez at edry.org. Visit our website, edry.org. Uh, contact us through Twitter at edry. Or just ask me some questions at the end of the press conference. Thank you very much.